hey friends welcome to the youtube channel all about electronics so in this question we have been given the sequential logic circuit and it consists of the t flip flop and the d flip flop so in this circuit we have been given that at the beginning the value of the outputs q1 q2 and q3 is equal to 0 1 1 so here we have been asked that when the clock signal is applied to the circuit then over the time which one of the following values of the q1 q2 and q3 can never be obtained by the digital circuit. So let us find that. So as it is given in the question, the initial value of the q1, q2 and q3 is equal to 0, 1, 1. So as you can see over here, the output of the q3 is given back to the first flip-flop via the NOT gate. That means here, this t1 is equal to q3 dash. And as you can see, the output of the first and the second flip-flop are directly given to the next stage. That means here, this d2 is equal to q1 and this t3 is equal to q2. So initially for these values, let us find the inputs for this flip-flop. So as you can see over here, this t1 is equal to q3 dash. And here, since the q3 is equal to 1, so the initial value of the t1 will be equal to 0. And the value of the d2 and t3 will be same as the q1 and the q2. That means the initial value of the d2 and t3 will be equal to 0, 1. So when the clock signal will be applied to the circuit, then based on these inputs, the new output will get generated. And if you see the new outputs, then that will be equal to 0, 0, 0. Because as you know, in the T flip-flop, when the input is equal to 0, then it will retain the previous stage. So previously, since the Q1 was 0, so in the next stage also, it will remain 0. Likewise, since the D2 is 0, so after applying the clock signal, the output will also remain 0. That means the new value of the q2 will be equal to 0. And likewise, since the t3 is equal to 1, so after applying the clock signal, this output will toggle. So initially, since the q3 is equal to 1, so in the next stage, it will become 0. That means the new values of the q1, q2 and q3 is equal to 0, 0, 0. So for these output values, now let us evaluate the new inputs for the three flip-flops. So here, since the t1 is equal to q3 dash, so this new input for this first flip-flop will be equal to 1. And this d2 and t3 will be same as the q1 and the q2. So here, since both q1 and q2 is equal to 0, 0, so the inputs for the d2 and t3 will be equal to 0, 0. So this will be the new inputs for the three flip-flops. And at the next clock age, based on these inputs, the new outputs will get generated. That means after the second clock, if you see, then this q1, q2 and q3 will become 1, 0, 0. Because here, since the t1 is equal to 1, so the output of the first flip-flop will toggle. So as you can see, previously, since the q1 was 0, so after the clock pulse, it will become 1. Similarly, since the d2 input is 0, so this q2 output will remain 0. Because for the d flip-flop, the output is same as the input. And similarly, since the t3 is 0, so this q3 output will also remain 0. That means after the second clock pulse, the outputs q1, q2 and q3 will be equal to 1, 0, 0. And for these outputs, the new inputs for these three flip-flops will be equal to 1, 1, 0. That means at the next clock age, this will be the inputs for the three flip-flops. So let us also find out these three outputs. So as you can see, since the t1 is equal to q3 dash, so the new input for the t1 flip-flop will become 1. Because here, the q3 output is equal to 0. Similarly, since the d2 is equal to q1, so this d2 input will become 1. And likewise, this t3 input will become 0. That means for the next clock age, these three are the inputs for the three flip-flops. And if we repeat this procedure, then these are the outputs for the subsequent clock pulses. So by following the same procedure, you can find all these outputs. And if required, then you can pause the video and you can verify these results by yourself. So if you see over here, then after the seventh clock pulse, the output of the circuit is same as the initial state. And then after in the subsequent clock pulses, it will repeat this sequence. That means the output of the circuit will change in this sequence. So if you see this sequence, then the only output combination that is missing is the 001. So we can say that for the given circuit, 
if the 0 1 1 is the initial output of the circuit then this output combination will never be achieved by this given digital circuit so we can say that for the given question this is the correct answer